Good afternoon, class. It's Jake today on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I hope that you all are well, you and your family. My family is good. We are good. We are safe. We miss you, but we are good. Today, we have another English, English lesson on page 102 in your books. If you have your books, please turn there. And if you do not have your books, I'll put the picture up on the screen. No problem. Today we're going to talk about, um, we're, going to, we're going to practice our reading and we're going to talk about letters of recommendation. Okay, so look at the top of page 102. There are three people in the picture. Who are these people? There's the woman in the green. Point to the woman in the green if you see her. Who is she? She is a patient. Maybe her legs are hurt. Maybe she is sick and so she's weak and she can't walk very well. So she's in a wheelchair today. Point to the man in white. Who is he? He might be a nurse or a doctor or an orderly. Remember, an orderly is someone who takes care of the patients, who cleans in the hospital, and who helps deliver supplies. Point to the woman in purple. Who is she? She might be a doctor or a nurse or an orderly or someone who works at the hospital too. What are they doing? The man in white is pushing the patient in the wheelchair, and the man in white is talking to the woman in purple. Are they happy or sad? They look happy to me. So they're talking and they're happy, and this is good. Uh, the man in the white and the woman in purple both work in the hospital, and when two people work in the same place or organization or business, what do we call this? What are they? They are co-workers. And so they're talking together and they're happy, which is good because it's good when co-workers get along and enjoy each other. Maybe you have worked at a job where you did not get along with the people you worked with and your bosses. And that's very difficult. That can be a hard place to work. Maybe you've been in a job where you love your boss and you love your coworkers and you know that this job can be fun and exciting to go to work with the people that you enjoy. I think that these two people, they enjoy each other, which is good. It's also good to enjoy your bosses and your coworkers because sometimes when you leave a job, you will need a letter of recommendation from someone at your old job. Now, people write letters of recommendation to recommend someone that they know for a job or a school. Look at, page, or look at part two on page 102. Here we have a green box with a purple title. And here we have a letter of recommendation. Now, a letter is written communication. It's where we talk using writing instead of spoken word. Recommendation is when you speak well of someone, where you tell an employer or a school why a person is a good fit or would be a good idea to accept as a new employee or as a new member of the school. So a letter of recommendation is very important, and this is why it's good to have a good relationship with your boss and your coworkers. This is one reason why it's good to have a good relationship with them, because a letter of recommendation can help you get another job when you move away or when you decide to change jobs. Or if you want to go to a school, a letter of recommendation can help you get in. So let's look at this letter of recommendation together. Look at the purple title box. What do you see? The purple title box says Valley Hospital. So maybe the man in white and the woman in purple work at the Valley Hospital. 
I'm going to read the paragraph. Oh, both paragraphs. I'm going to read the whole letter of recommendation in the green box. I'm going to read and I would like you, since we are far apart and I can't say read together, read together, read together, you two, you two, you two. And I can't say read one sentence, one sentence, one sentence around the room. So I will read the paragraph and I would like you to repeat as you follow along, I will read, and then you repeat after me to work on your pronunciation of the words that you see. Okay? I'll read the paragraph, you will repeat, and then I will read the paragraph one time all together. Okay? Let's begin. Dear Mr. O'Hara, I am happy to write this letter of recommendation for Marco Alba. Marco started working at Valley Hospital as an orderly in 2007. He takes patients from their rooms to the lab, delivers x-rays, and takes flowers and mail to patients. He also delivers linens and supplies. He is an excellent worker, and his co-workers like him very much. We are sorry to lose Marco. He wants to go to school and needs to work part-time. But we don't have any part-time job for him right now. I recommend Marco very highly. Please contact me for more information. Sincerely, Suzanne Briggs. Human Resources Assistant. Great. Now this time, I'm going to read through the paragraph one time. I'm going to read through it a little bit faster with no breaks for repeating, but I want you to look for words that are new or difficult. Dear Mr. O'Hara, I am happy to write this letter of recommendation for Marco Alba. Marco started working at Valley Hospital as an orderly in 2007. He takes patients from their rooms to the lab, delivers x-rays, and takes flowers and mail to patients. He also delivers linens and supplies. He is an excellent worker, and his co-workers like him very much. We are sorry to lose Marco. He wants to go to school and needs to work part-time, but we don't have a part-time job for him right now. I recommend Marco very highly. Please contact me for more information. Sincerely, Suzanne Briggs, Human Resources Assistant. Notice any words that are difficult or hard to understand. If you want, you can write these words down and look them up. You can look them up on Google or on Translate or something. But I want to talk about a few difficult words. The first one that I noticed was, was the word linens. It's the second to last paragraph or sentence in the first paragraph. The sentence that says, he also delivers linens and supplies. Linens are things that you put on the bed to make them comfortable. So on a bed, you have maybe a wood or a metal frame and a mattress. Linens are everything on top of the mattress. A bed cover, a sheet cover, a bed sheet, and pillowcases are all linens. In a hospital, linens are very important because many people use the beds and so they change the linens every patient, sometimes many times a day, so that's, that's good. I noticed the word excellent. What does the word excellent mean? 
he is an excellent worker. Excellent means very good, better than many workers. Excellent. What about the word information? The last paragraph says, please contact me for more information. Information is data or new knowledge that you get from something. So if someone wants to learn more about Marco, they need to contact or call or email Suzanne. And Suzanne will give more information. Now, look at part three. There are questions attached at the bottom of page 102. Look at these questions, find the answers in the reading, and then write the correct answer in the blank. Let's practice number one together. Number one says, when did Marco start his job at Valley Hospital? Well, if we look back at the reading and we search for the words Valley Hospital, they have two capital letters, so they should be easy to find. Where do we see them? In the second full sentence, we see Marco started working at Valley Hospital as an orderly in 2007. So when did Marco start his job at Valley Hospital? He started his job in 2007. Go ahead and answer the rest of the questions on your own. Please, like always, feel free to text me, feel free to text Beth with questions that you have. We're here for you. We hope that everything is good for you, and we want to see you again. We miss you, but we understand that even though it's difficult to be apart, it is good for us to be apart until the virus passes, until it's safe for us to come back together. And when that day happens, we'll be very happy. Until then, I'll see you next time for another video lesson. Look out for Beth's new lesson coming later this week. Have a great day.